Today we're going to talk about one of the most important rules, policies, concepts when buying a jet card or a jet membership. Uh, and I say one of the most important because it can cost you or save you a lot of money. And it's not a hard concept to understand. Uh, I'm going to explain it to you. I'm going to talk to you about uh, how it impacts your flights and a little bit about how it varies for different cabin category sizes. Uh, hi, I'm Doug Gollin. I'm the founder and editor of Private Jet Card Comparisons. Uh, welcome to the uh, Private Jet Card Comparisons YouTube channel. Uh, I hope you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like what we do, please hit the like button. And I hope you come to visit us at privatejetcardcomparisons.com. Okay, so uh, what are daily minimums? Daily minimums are the minimum amount of flight time that your program is going to charge you regardless of how long you flew that day, how many flight minutes you actually had. So daily minimums are typically 60 minutes, 90 minutes, or 120 minutes. And very, very roughly, if you took a 30 minute flight and your uh, daily minimum was 60 minutes, the company is gonna charge you for 60 minutes. And taxi time uh, is important, and I'm gonna talk about that and how that impacts daily minimums in a minute. But roughly speaking, you take a 30 minute flight your program has a, a, a 60 uh, minute uh, daily minimum. When you get the invoice for that flight, it's going to show 60 minutes. And same, you know, even with that 30 minute flight, if your program has a 90 minute daily minimum, you're gonna get a bill for 90 minutes. And then likewise, if it's a two hour or 120 minute minimum. So clearly you can see daily minimums are important because uh, for shorter flights, they um, can impact how much you're going to pay. And you know, you see the jet card companies and membership companies, they typically advertise an hourly rate. They don't necessarily mention what the daily minimum is. And daily minimums have been going up, and so that's making it even more important. So the first concept with daily minimums is knowing that when you get to the airport, when you step into the plane, the daily minimum is the minimum uh, flight time, flight minutes, uh, flight hours that your program is going to charge you. So we talked about daily minimums. Now I wanna talk about segment minimums. Uh, daily minimums, as you know, are the uh, minimum amount that you're gonna be charged for uh, that day. Segment minimums are the minimum that you're gonna be charged for that flight segment. So that leg of a trip. So if you're doing a multi-leg trip or a round trip, uh, more than one flight in a day, the segment minimums come into effect. Not all programs have segment minimums. Some programs just have a daily minimum. Uh, other programs that have segment minimums, they work the same way as daily minimums. So if you took three 30-minute flights, on a program that had a 60 minute daily minimum, but also a 60 minute segment minimum, each of those 30 minute flights is gonna be charged as 60 minutes. So while you only flew 90 minutes during the day, for each of those 30 minute segments, because there's a 60 minute segment minimum, they're gonna charge you 60 minutes. So you're gonna get an invoice where uh, they're going to deduct 180 minutes worth of flight time from your account. And again, okay, so then uh, what's, what, what else do we have to think about? Uh, well, it's taxi time. Most programs charge taxi time, but not all of them do. Um, the ones that charge taxi time, typically uh, they charge it as a tenth of an hour for takeoff and a tenth of an hour uh, for... Um, uh, landing. So 0.1 and 0.1, two tenths of an hour, 12 minutes. So the programs that charge taxi time are adding 12 minutes to your flight time. So you had a 30 minute flight plus 12 minutes taxi time, 42 minutes. Uh, 
Now, how does that relate and why is that important with the daily and the segment minimums? Uh, those programs that charge uh, taxi time either included in the minimum or bill it additionally. So we'll go back to our 30 minute flight example. Um, you take a 30 minute flight, 12 minutes of taxi time, six, let's assume a 60 minute minimum from the uh, provider. If the provider includes the taxi time, includes taxi time in the minimum, you're gonna get billed at 30 plus 12 equals 42 minutes. They'll bill you 60 minutes because that's the minimum. If the program in the fine print, and all of uh, what I'm talking about is included in uh, the comparisons. We have our database of over 250 programs. We include both the daily and segment minimums, taxi time, and how it's charged. And so the second part of that is for those programs that charge taxi time as additional to the daily or segment minimum, that 30 minute flight we're talking about today with a program that has a 60 minute daily or segment minimum, they're gonna charge you 72 minutes. So they're gonna charge you 30 plus 12, but since they charge taxi time additional to the daily minimum, you will be billed 60 minutes, which is the daily or segment minimum, plus the 12 minutes for taxi time. So again, if you're talking about uh, uh, an $8,000 per hour uh, uh, jet card rate, uh, that's an extra $1,600 just based on whether the program includes it in the minimum or bills it additionally. Um, so uh, you see an $8,000 rate, you see a $6,000 rate. Um, if that $6,000 rate comes with a two hour daily minimum, you're gonna be charged $12,000. If the $8,000 rate was a 60 minute minimum, uh, depending on how uh, taxi time is charged and what type of flight, um, let's say that 30 minute flight again, you're just gonna pay the $8,000 if taxi time's included in the 60 minute minimum. So that lower $6,000 rate you're actually going to pay more. You could pay, uh, uh, you'd pay in that case, a hundred, uh, in that case, you'd pay $12,000 for the exact same flight. So uh, important to take a look, not only with the program, but by category. Uh, when I look at super mids, there are some uh, programs that have 60 minute daily minimums on super mids, but uh, a lot of them are at 90 minutes, 120 minutes, or even 150 minutes, so two and a half hours. With large cabin uh, uh, program, uh, large cabin uh, jet cards and memberships, the lowest right now, the 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 um, uh, uh, minimum uh, uh, daily minimum is 105 minutes, and it actually goes up to 240 minutes, four hours. So it varies widely. So uh, when you're taking a look at different programs, you know, great, you look at the hourly rate, that's a good, good thing to look at, it's a critical factor. But remember, the key thing is what you pay at the end, how much they're billing you. And that's where you need to think about the daily minimums, the segment minimums, if you're gonna do more than one flight in a day, how they charge taxi time, is it included or is it additional? So I hope that was uh, helpful to you. Um, a few of you uh, uh, emailed me and said I hadn't done a video in a, a week or so, and that's true. I think when I started this, I said that I wanted to do videos that weren't fluff, that was information, either news or uh, issues like daily minimums that are important, that, uh, uh, you know, really, uh, uh, or where the rubber hits the road if you're a private flyer. And I really just didn't have anything uh, that I wanted to take up your time with. So uh, today I'm back, it's daily minimums, and uh, I hope you found it of, uh, of help. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Also, please visit privatejetcardcomparisons.com. Sign up for our free e-newsletter and Learn more about how we can help you find the right private aviation solution for your unique flying needs.